There's a guy here that looks just like you, and I was like, yeah, that's actually my dad. He's like, I, uh, I see an older version of you here. Is this a relative? Yep. That's him. Time traveler muck strikes again. Uh, let's see. Is this you from the future? Mm-hmm. Ah, can't go through the door. Ah, rude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can a man build? Jeez. Is there a running here? Again, the map is saying there's an orange uh, dot here, but not seeing it. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Oh wow, that kills those in one hit. I'm used to that taking like five sword hits or something. I'm gonna purposefully actually hold on. I want to build the, you can build these to conserve space, like four mines would cover this whole patch. But if I build it set, uh, offset a little bit, then what you can do is make it to where you mine, you spend more energy, but you mine out the patch faster. You still get the same amount of ore in the end, but you get it more quickly. Your turn, chat. The technology queue is idle. Select new Ow. technologies for development. I heard they're buffing Shigret attack soon, by the way. They recognize that y'all found it lacking. And they're uh they're giving it some uh, hey, some look, love soon. The tree of birds. How are you today? Hold on, don't worry, the vote pauses when I'm uh doing something. Uh hello bird tree, welcome. Source extreme. Hmm. Let's get the next orbital laser. Wait, what? Dude, I just left there. What the? God. These are terrible neighbors, honestly. Chagrin attack. So the Shigret attacks, really their only strength is that they can appear anywhere. They can they tunnel out of the ground, they can appear like in the middle of your base. So it's it's a surprise attack. But if it's like facing defenses or the player head on, they're they're not, you know, a big deal. I don't know what they're doing to it though, but they said they're buffing it. Okay, do I need to build anything else here before I go to the next area. It looks like our cobalt income has completely stopped, which is not good. That was, that's greedy AF. That's a, uh, that could have been covered with four, but I decided to make six, which is gonna drain 600 power per second. So let's upgrade the geothermal. Did I have one geothermal in here or two? Oh man, I never even fixed all these walls. All right. 
Out of money. Uh... Oh, I do have a second one. Waiting on that to finish. Still haven't rebuilt the defenses over here either. Has been developed. New blueprints are available for research completed. Orbital laser. Do I have to recraft it again? Yeah, it's still showing low quality. Crafting completed. Okay. Haven't made orbital bombardment yet. Crafting. I'm just, I'm having an issue with just, like, not enough slots on my bar right now. Don't see a timer, this is not the time. This is the campaign. We have been, uh, chipping away at this one for a few Mondays now. Let's see. We really need the acid gun whenever we get that. Alright. A lot of this stuff takes seconds. Let's just queue up a lot of this. Who knows when we'll need it. Look at the trees. That's the size of the shockwave from these hammers. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Now, one thing is if we leave this region, I'm pretty sure it doesn't continue gathering, or it doesn't continue construction. So, I'm waiting for these to finish before I leave. Don't you wish you could do that trees in AOW4? Trees in AOW4 haven't really bothered me. In fact, since I'm playing the nature guys, I can utilize them. So, no, those haven't bothered me much. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. All right. Is that online? Once this is online, I'll be done here for a bit. Okay. All right, next up. Uh, where is the palladium ore samples? Okay, so this is the chain that leads to getting the acid stuff. Let's head back to that one. You can turn off your buildings when they're not needed. One thing I love about this game is the efficiency of some of the buildings. Like, the building that, um, the carbonium power plant that will burn, like, burn carbonium from the ground to give you power. It will stop burning carbonium if your power is full. Like, it'll be like, oh, solar and wind have this covered. I'll just shut down for now. Scanning indicated that there should be multiple underground palladium deposits hidden in this area. We can use the geo scanner to find them. Is that an invisible dude? It's actually quite calm in here. No. That's a bit suspicious, don't you think, Mr. Riggs? Yes, that is abnormal. I'm not detecting any acidic yeast colonies in the area. The local fauna population also seems to be smaller than in the other areas of this biome. New blueprints are available for crafting. All right, so this is kind of the entry mission for getting palladium. Uh, just run around, dig some up, and then after that, we will out the landmines. The ones we've been finding so far. After that, we can uh, we'll get a map where we can put mines on it. Automated mining station on. What's this? The geo scanner detected a hidden cache of explosive fluid underground. This functionality is normally used for detecting minefields. There are exploding mushrooms underground. 
This must be the reason why the acidic yeast colonies are not present in this area. Let's be careful here. Technology queue is idle. So oh, that's not good. Technologies for development. Uh, let's see. Basic explosive weapons done. Wait, wasn't there a lot more than that? Those have been fun before. Yeah, right now, the few weapons I've wanted to build but couldn't, it was because of Palladium. That's what we're trying to find here. Some All right, we got 469 out of 539. Almost done. Just give me what's the game? The Rift Breaker. We play this every Monday because it has excellent chat integration. Every few minutes it gives chat a vote and they often steal my money or make the enemies stronger or make more of them, etc. And right now we're Working on playing through a campaign where we are on the highest of the normal difficulty settings, which is called Brutal, and we cranked up the amount of enemies to 200%. So, usually when a big attack comes, I'm in combat with it for a few minutes. <laughs> This particular mission, we are away from our base and just trying to find some of this precious metal that we're picking up right now, called Palladium. Oh no. I'm in one of those minefield things. to see anything in this fog. It's also uh, affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out. Oh my god. Foggers! The palladium deposits that we've been finding here are too small to build a mining station. There we go. However, we've learned how to find it. The data gathered with the geoscanner can be fed to the orbital scanner to search for mineable palladium. Our mission here is complete. We can return to headquarters to start preparing to build a palladium mining outpost. Research completed. All right. Uh, let's see. Download palladium handling. There we go. Okay, so we're done on this map. 
Uh, let's visit the, let's see, the volcanic map. We're still blocked by needing the uh, acid gun. We could go to one of the weird mineral concentrations. Let's see, hazonite. There's hazonite, tanzanite, ferdinite. Hmm. Hmm. Rich down to this location to acquire large quantities of this resource and gather samples of the hazonite rich plants. Uh, let's go to that one. So these are optional for the campaign. However, the materials you gain from them is used to make a lot of the like special weapons and buildings. Like there's many upgrades you cannot do if you don't get this resource, but it's optional. The, ti the cobalt, the titanium, uranium, and palladium, those you have to do uh, in order to beat the campaign. But the the ones that end with ended with it, it, those ones are up to you. Rift jump successful. This area is very rich in hazonite. My scans have indicated an especially large deposit near our position. I recommend. Is this the one where you use the cultivators? I love that one. A lot of the flora that grows here contains hazonite. Mini Galatean plants. Whoa, almost dead. Oh, there's a bunch of invisible good dudes on me. Some fauna species feed directly on these minerals. It's a fascinating ecosystem. There's invisibles here. Large bulbous life forms that look a bit like fossilized trees with crystals indicate that their closest categorization should be fungi. The specific subspecies that cultivates orange crystals and grows orange leaves appears to be feeding off of hazonite in the soil. We could learn a lot by gathering more samples of this life form. Ashley, we should gather more research specimens of this species. Oh! In order for my AI subroutines oh, he's to not familiarize happy. themselves with it. This will allow me to harvest oh, so hazonite directly from these life forms. Hi, Inverd. I recommend using the bio scanner to scan them. This way, we can gather research samples much quicker. Ashley, there is a lot of hazonite in this area, but it is not concentrated enough for my equipment to extract it. We have to search for it elsewhere. Hmm, there's a lot of these bulbous mushrooms growing here. They're feeding off of the hazonite from the soil and crystallizing it in a form that can be harvested. If we could accelerate their growth, then we could extract the hazonite using these natural organisms. Orbital scanning finished. We have calculated a favorable location for palladium mining outpost. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies in this area. That's good. Maybe there will be fewer exploding mushrooms in that area. Either way, we should remember to use the geoscanner frequently. We have achieved a high enough familiarity level of this species that we can now cultivate its saplings by constructing the cultivator building. We can continue gathering research samples to improve our knowledge about this or any other species. We could construct a cultivator in this area to accelerate the growth of these mushrooms. We will need to supply it with filtered water to make it operational. Okay, let's get it done. All right. This, I always like this mission. This one was pretty cool. So what we, we need this material, the hazonite, that's in the ground, but it's too small to just mine it up. But it, these plants pull it out of the soil. So what you end up doing is you put down these cultivators, which will rapidly grow and harvest the plants over and over. And then you just power and water these machines and they will effectively farm the hazonite. This, here we go, cultivator. This plant plants plants, smiley face. Also, it's in that nice little canyon, which is pretty safe. However, we need to find... We need to find some water for it. 
The only thing I can't have really well defended on this map is the water pump. Because that's going to be out in the boonies. I could farm this sludge and then filter it. That might be the fastest thing. Oh. Your turn, Chad, if you'd like to spawn a tornado near the player. Okay, next up is power. Wind is tornado actually pretty good here. In its, path. it's gonna be really good here in a second. Oh my god, the wind power here is amazing! Oh my god. A tornado is demolishing our base. Demolishing is such a serious word. No! I can't even repair the pipes fast enough because they're too fragile. Dude, get off of me! Oh my gosh. I almost died. To wind. Stop! Tornado has dispersed. Let's assess the damage that it's done. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Research completed. Uh, palladium mining swarm missiles. Uh, what else can we do? Make our cell feel stronger. Wait, I built the wrong thing. Those last few that I was trying to make were supposed to be power cells, uh, like energy storage batteries. Uh, oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. I forgot to filter it. That's just sludge going through. Hold on, let's fix that. Now, hold on. This is, let's see, how much do these need? Uh, they need 100 water each. This is going to supply... 50 water. The cultivator is operational. It will require some time to bring these mushrooms to the size when we can harvest them in an efficient manner. We can automate the process of gathering resources by constructing a harvester building close to the cultivator. We're going to need more Excellent. pumps. I have a feeling that we should strengthen our defenses ah. while we're waiting for the growth cycle to complete. Whenever we try to exploit any of the natural resources on this planet, we get attacked by hordes of aggressive creatures. So this is one of those things that's very cheap to rebuild, very, uh, but again, it's just, it would be so much easier once the repair tool is, uh, is done getting uh, updated in the upcoming uh, patch. Okay, gonna need more AI cores. Wish they added a wall with a hole for a pipe. Um, yeah, would be nice. Oh, I don't have guns yet. Invisibles! Come on and slam! And welcome to my hands! They are not as numerous as in the other parts of this biome, but they can be even more dangerous. 
Be wary, Ashley. I will not be able to warn you of incoming attacks. Those guys uh, also hit pretty hard. Some of those wall sections were damaged very quickly. Why isn't that emitting a circle? Okay, there we go. It was making it a bit more difficult to decide where I wanted to build it. Alright, got flamethrowers and repair towers scattered about. Or a boot, depending where you're from. Uh, let's see. So that pipe is plus 100, minus 200. It does not have enough in it. The storm is very violent, but our base is safe from the wind. What happens? Wind turbine output is at maximum levels. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Need to upgrade these pumps. Base is under attack. What? I just left! Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at the hit points on those walls. These things hurt. Those are max level walls, too. Like, those, the walls don't get any thicker. That is maximum the thickness. Storm is over. Actually, you know what? Hold on. The I was about to walk around. Let's just make a, wall, a gate here. Select new technologies for research completed. Okay, self repair has been upgraded. Um, need to build HU level six. Walks down with the thickness. I I I have let slip my weaknesses before. Those who know the muck lore know. Plus 450, minus 800. Minus 800. Okay. This is plus 450, minus 600. These take 200 per second. So we can only sustain two of them with three pumps. And that generates 75 water a second, which is just short of what these need. Look, these are the, these are the cultivators. Look at them go. So see some of the, the drones from this building go out and plants the stuff. And then as they grow, the drones from this building go out and harvest it, and it pulls the materials from the ground like that. And you just keep this area safe, and you can see uh, Gather Hazenite is uh, building up. Very cool. Uh, however, water. Let me see. Can I get level 3 liquid stuff? That would help. Let's move that to the top of the queue. Also get some hazenite, hazenite from killing some of these creatures! Oh god, they hurt so much. Are the Guild Wars drops already out? They start tomorrow, Blusa. And then they continue for one week.
90 seconds on the liquid resource handling upgrade. 